What is the most pain you've ever experienced? One time I woke up to terrible pain in my lower stomach. It was so bad that I kept on fainting and throwing up. I was taken to the hospital and they couldn't find anything. Then the pain just magically went away. I once got food poisoning from a burrito so bad that I spent the whole day curled up on the bathroom floor. For hours I would dry heave every 5 to 10 minutes or so, with nothing, until close to midnight. I had one more wave, and threw up one little cube of chicken. I don't know where the fuck that thing had been stuck, but as soon as it was out, I got a whole lot better. I got food poisoning where every 2 minutes I would shit and vomit one after the other. It was like this all night. By the end of it, I was vomiting clear liquid, and I got sick after finishing a meal for a month afterwards. I also had a similar situation like you I shat and vomited more than 10 times each. I don't remember about pain, but it was definitely the most frustrating thing ever for the next 5 days I just lied on bed and barely ate one meal a day. It happened to me when I was stuck on night shift 30 miles away from home. One tenth. Would not recommend. That weight loss though. I once had an infection inside my wisdom tooth. That was the worst pain I've experienced. Painkillers didn't touch it, and just breathing was agony. I spent two days awake before I could get it removed. Tooth pain can be some of the worst pain ever, and the worst part is that it's sensitive to everything. The slightest touch by other teeth. Your fingers. Tongue. Cold. Heat. Air. It all causes shrieking crimson pain. I had tooth pain so bad that I would take ice cold water and just hold it in my mouth over the tooth. That pain was terrible, but it would get my tooth to a state that wasn't insane pain, so that the pain meds could at least help, and I could try and fall asleep. I remember doing that and falling asleep for a bit, but woke up in pain again. Did it three more times instantly jumping in bed just trying to fall asleep. Was the best feeling, having that damn tooth removed. I had the exact same experience. Easily 10 tenths pain. I don't know how I managed to fall asleep despite it. But when I woke up the tooth had died and the pain was gone. If that tooth had been person, I would have pissed on its grave. <laughs> Gallstones trying to move through a tiny space that wasn't big enough for them. My wife said gallstones were far worse than labor. Can confirm. Got gallstones a few months after I had my kid. Labor was painful as hell, but there was like a determination to it. I knew what was happening, and why and just did my best. But gallstones? Oh fuck. I woke up in the middle of the night out of nowhere, and I literally thought I was dying. No joke. No sarcasm. I screamed to my husband to call someone, because I was in agony I had never felt in my life. I thought maybe my appendix was bursting, I've been told it can feel similar so, now that I have no gallbladder. If I feel that way again I'll know it has to be the appendix lol. But yeah. It was agonizing. And so fucking scary. When I have a gallbladder attack the only thing that gets me through the pain is breathing like a woman in labor. The dimension of pain you enter feels endless. And you hold on to that next breath like a lifeline you almost wish wasn't there because of the intensity of the pain. The pain is just unreal. Glad you got through it. When I was in third grade I broke my arm jumping off a swing. It was Labor Day weekend. So I guess all the good doctors at the hospital were on vacation. And the resident who was treating me set my arm wrong. They didn't notice until I went back for follow up x-rays a couple weeks later. To check how I was healing. My bones had already partially healed. But the angle was wrong. So what they did was saw open a bit of my cast and insert a wedge device and crank it until my forearm was straight. They needed to bend it a good 30 degrees. I didn't get any sort of painkiller. Hurt like fuck. Oh my god I read it as I broke my arm off jumping. I was like how in the fuck. Appendix rupturing. Thought I was just having a stomach ache. Waited in bed for hours. Got so bad I couldn't walk. Ambulance came and had to wheel me out in the fetal position. Emergency surgery. Almost died. Hospitalized for two and one half weeks. It was ugly. Right there with you brother. My appendix went bad when I was 15 and after a few days I was taken to the doctor. She was incompetent and immediately decided I just had bad gas and sent me back home. 
couple days later I'm in ever increasing pain and I go back to see a different doctor. He sent me to the ER immediately and I'm in surgery that night. When I woke up, the surgeon was there and he told me I was already developing gangrene and if I would have put off surgery for even one more day, I would be dead as a doornail. Unrelated, the first doc that almost got me killed ended up murdered in a ditch outside of my town a couple years later. That took a turn at the end I wasn't expecting. It was bad gas. She waited too long to see a doctor and ended up prognosis murdered. Kidney stones. Multiple around 4 millimeters. It was like the worst poop cramp after doing 10. 000 squats while being hit in the nuts. Man. I just had the one. But fuck. I don't do hospitals. But I sure as shit went that night. Probably my first hospital visit in 10 years. At first I thought I'd just pulled something in my lower back. But when the pain gradually ramped up I started getting concerned. Then all of a sudden it was just like a portal to hell opened inside my body. So I called my sister to take me to the ER. That hospital dope. Though. I can see how someone might get addicted to opiates. If that's how it always feels. Like. My shit still hurt like all hell. I just didn't give a fuck that it hurt. Those hospital drugs are some next level shit. I went into DKO once. And I was feeling horrible. Throwing up all the time. And when we got to the hospital they gave me some medicine through and forth. And in 5 minutes I felt almost perfect. It was amazing. Had an ovarian cyst that burst. First it felt like normal pediat pain. Fast forward an hour later. I'm throwing up in the bathroom and crying. Of course I had no painkillers in the house, and it was around 6am, so no store was open. The only thing I could think of doing was drive to work, because I knew there was medical kit with painkillers. So I drove there in complete agony, very safe. I took few painkillers, and went to lie on the conference room floor. Nice surprise to my colleagues when they arrived. After that episode I got endometriosis diagnose. Edit. Grandma for clarity. Also. I'm so sad to hear all your stories. So many of us suffering this. I hope you will find a way to ease your pain and to get diagnosed. Yep. I scrolled until I got to the cysts. That was the worst pain I've ever felt. It happened every time I ovulated. And it took forever to figure out what it was because I could never get in to see the doctor when it was actually happening. I didn't make the connection to my ovaries because the pain didn't occur during my period. Only ovulation. I finally ended up in the air. Uh, vomiting and shaking and it the worst pain of my life. The cyst was the size of a peach. It actually didn't rupture. So I still had to get it removed. But I don't even want to think about how much it would hurt had it ruptured. They gave me multiple doses of morphine and then some other drug because they couldn't give me more morphine for the pain to even dull. I've had gallstones. Which also sucked. But they didn't make me puke from the pain. I've had back labor and kidney stones, and ruptured ovarian cysts still take the cake for me in terms of pain. I tried explaining my PCOS slash endo diagnosis to my boss a few times, but she was one of those I've never taken a sick day in my life types so refused to show me any compassion or help accommodate me. Right before I assisted in her lecture I asked if I could use a chair, and she said no. At one point the pain got so bad I excused myself to use the bathroom. And by the time I literally crawled at times back to the lecture hall I could barely see straight. I got another gas attention. Right before I lost consciousness due to shock. Came to when I was being loaded into an ambulance stretcher. Boss finally took my illnesses seriously. In a convo with someone who was stung by a box jellyfish say, if they'd had a gun they would have shot themselves. No question. The guy was a university slash college professor. Really genuine individual which made what he said all the more real. Box jellyfish are the most venomous creatures on earth. Yay Australia. Not quite as bad, but I got stung by what the docs said probably was a box jelly. We were scuba diving, and on the safety stop suddenly my upper lip was burning. Like with the mask, and having the regulator in a tiny slice of your upper lip I exposed. Anyway the burning ramped up quickly to white hot iron being shoved into my face pain and I panicked at shot to the surface. By the time they dragged my onto the boat my lip was as big as a banana and blood was leaking out of the pores like a sieve. They poured vinegar on it, but it was ours, until I wasn't cross-eyed with pain. 
the thought was that a macro thin tail piece just unluckily bullseed and swiped across my lip. Totally invisible pain tentacle. Ouch. I don't even want to think of what it could have been like if you had no mask ETC on. Is that the worst pain you've ever experienced? They've got some kind of insane stinger setup that's capable of a ton of parallel stings wherever it touches. I think it's cause they need to be able to kill fish, which move really fast. Especially compared to a jellyfish that mostly just floats there.